if a man die, say, yet shall he live again. This is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but that by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. This morning, my beloved brothers and sisters and visiting friends, we all are getting here to witness this most memorable, most joyful moment and also a sad moment. Nevertheless, we are here to share in this Thanksgiving service for our dear friend, a mother, a grandmother, a sister, whatever capacity she is to you this morning, we salute her. As we come to share in this service, may we find solace in the loving Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know for sure that it's not easy for many of you to stand here in front of me this morning. But we do understand that the Lord give it and the Lord take it. We are believers of the Word of God. So even as you mourn today the last of your loved one, may you recall it in your mind that death will be a thing of the past. So as you come to share and to give your last respect to him, May you do it with dignity and with pride. Because I can attest that our dear sister would have lived a good life. May we continue to praise God and honor her because she would have done well. At this time, I invite you to turn to your program sheet as we begin our program officially and we turn to the hymn. As it's printed right there. My maker and my king. My maker.
Father God, may thou shalt put in thine appearance. I pray that none li listening to my voice at this moment will be missing from your kingdom. For these and all that mentioned mercies we ask with thanksgiving. In your name say, Amen. Thank you so much, you ministry Tesla. If I should ask this morning, my brethren, my friends, how many, how many times have you gone? How many times have you witnessed a funeral service? We can all say it what numerous times. Whether we have gone to in a capacity as a, as a friend or family member, we all know what a funeral service is all about, don't it? We come most of the time to lend and give support to the grieving family. Today you come here also to do the same. As you come today, brethren, I want you to know one thing. As you come, that death is temporary for those who believe that after death comes what? The judgment. So death is not the end of everything for those that believe. Death for us is you already gone early to bed. So today as we encounter this chapter in the life of our friend, Sister Yuna, I want you to put that smile face on. I know it's not always easy to do so. But I just want you to understand. I know this lady that I'm talking about quite well. She doesn't want a sad face this morning. Sister Newman is always smiling. She always likes to write a life of controversy. A merry heart. Doing good like a medicine. Right? She's that kind of person. So even though you might be in that position and are tempted to grieve and show the emotion, just see for a moment. Right? Today we want to exercise that, that, that brilliance in terms of that bright smile, that, that smile face, that cheerful heart as they 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 they, they. The text says a merry heart, we go like a mess. We want you to have a merry heart today as you share in this service. So at this time, and we're gonna ask for the first lesson, and it's gonna be done by a very very people in love. Share that and happiness from children. Also, after that, I ask Javid Wilson to prepare himself for the for special selection. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The first reading comes to us from Psalms 90, and we'll be reading from verse 1 to 12. Lord, thou hast made our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, forever has formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and say, that return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with the flood, as they are asleep, in the morning as they are grass which grow up. In the morning it flourisheth and grows up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by the anger, and by the rod are we children. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the lights of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath, when we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, 
So is Iraq, for the last. So teach us to know our days that we may apply our hearts unto the self. Here in the third of God's holy word.
the light and the honor, though a bit sad, to be afforded this opportunity to give a tribute to Mrs. Yuna Monograve Allen, my friend of many, many years. We were neighbors from childhood days until her passing. Miss Yuna, as I fondly call her, was a lady whose life truly personified the virtuous woman whom King Solomon wrote about in the book of Proverbs. There are so many things I would like to say about her, but time does not permit me to do so. So, I use the letters in her, the first letters in her name to highlight some of her virtues and or characteristics. Her name, Yuna Agatha Mulgrave Allen. U is for unique, and she was one of a kind. N is for no nonsense. She was as straightforward as you think. Say it like it is, and that's her. A is for ambitious. She was determined to succeed in whatever she did. A, that's for Agyatana. A is for affectionate, always expressing fondness. G is for glamorous, attractive, and exciting. A is for active. She was always on the go. T is for tough and thorough. She performed her tasks with great care. H is for hard working. I need not say much about that because everybody knows that she was a hard working lady. A is for affable. That is, she was easy to talk to. M is for majestic. She was beautiful inside out. U is for undaunted. She was not easily discouraged. F is for lovely. She was lovely inside and out indeed. G is for gracious and gentle. R is for reliable and reassuring. A is for awesome, wonderful. B is for versatile. She was adaptable. Any task that she got, she could make do with it, make much of it. And Ali. A is for approachable, receptive. She was friendly and easy to talk to. M, level-headed. She was calm and sensible. M, a livelier person you could not find, even though she did not do much dancing, but she was really lively. She was an entertainer. E is for ever blessed. She was enthusiastic and high-spirited. And last but not least, N for nurturing. She did not only nurture her children, but she did for many others in the community. She had to take care of my children when I was in nursing school. Julie would go and have her hair combed, and she would see to it that they were all right for school. And I always thanked her for that. Um, in closing, I implore her children, grandchildren, and other family members to strive to carry on her legacy. Miss Yuna, you are gone, but memories of you will 
will be in our hearts forever. Rest in peace, my friend. May light perpetual shine upon you until we meet again in that great somewhere.
she blocked the hallway with her two hands so I couldn't run so mommy could beat me. And I, I'll never forget that because it, I'm telling you, my aunts made me to who I am today. A lot of us, we don't see that these are some strong women, each and every one, even the ones that have passed on. Once upon a time, there was Iris White and Hensley Mulgrave, and they had 10 beautiful children. Rest in peace to the ones that have gone on, that have, hit, have pulled the way for the ones that are soon to come. And you know that the beautiful life, through good times and bad times, we know she did well. As we can see, she had beautiful children, and I thank them so much for allowing us into their life. This is a tough one for me. I have one more story I'll share. I always thought Aunt Luna was tough on me. She never gave me a little lie, as I would say. I had the kids back to back, and she would say, Pam, why do you keep having these children? And she, I mean, she was just tough on me. But one year she came to Florida, and I was graduating from nursing school. If nobody else was happy for me, I could roll my aunt who never was happy. She was happy because she said I made it, and my new name to her was Nursi. Anuna is very ambitious, and a lot of people may think she was tough, but Anuna wanted everybody to succeed and be great. That's what I learned from her. I was having the kids, and she felt like, not to turn out to nothing, him. But when I made the U-turn in my life, and I know when I looked at my mom and that she was happy with me. Thank you guys for having me. God bless. Have a good day. After such a poetic experience that we just witnessed from our sister, what more can I say today? Nevertheless, I'm here on behalf of the members of the Orange Day Seventh-day Adventist Church, in which Sister Luna would have done membership for many, many, many years. Sister Miller, I, I would love for you to tell me how long she was a member of the Orange Day Church because I can record that. How many? 33. So it's, it's roughly 30 years she's a member of this new church here in Orange Day. I'm not here 30, um, 30 years. And so I came in, came in and saw you, right? I saw her right here. And came her daughter can attest on those of us that are eyewitness that she sits right over there. Same sister sits apart with sitting in her seat right now. That, that's her seat, right? That's her seat in the church, right there. And, and, and I remember um, once Barra from the church, she would not go home without Barra beside, beside her. Those were a majestic couple at church, but you should see the, the spectacle of both of them, you know, not leaving each other. And, and it, it was really, really delighted for us here in Orange Bay to witness such an event. But memories we always will have, because I have a vivid memory of who Sister Yuna was. She was a laughing machine. I, I cannot recall her seeing her no matter how the situation get bad with her sad face. She was at church and the only thing that she do was smile. She, she, she laughed. That, that's what she do best. And, and if we could do that, as I said before, you know, because we know that laughter is really a medicine. But you know, one of the most I mean, memorable moments that I have is during her, her, her time that she, she, she was back home. And I remember serving her communion. Because I was served many, many short things for me and over many, many years. But she was special. Why was Sister Luna so special? 
Because every time that I went to start coming in, and I asked Sister Ryan and go back to visit me on Sister. Instead of me encouraging her, she always encouraging us. And that for me is really a blessing. Because sometimes you might think that we don't need that encouragement. Though she lays right there on her back, she's always for the woman, keep holding on. And these were a word of wisdom, these were a word of strength. Today, I got a great confidence to the bereaved family. I know that you will never see her in this life anymore. But one thing I want to say to you, the memories that all our sisters just revealed, what she would have left in her and her, the thing that she had done, I know in your heart, those memories, memories will always be there. So I say to you, despite the fact that you will never see her, hold on to this memory, because these are what you have left of her. So I say again to the great family, we must go on today, I ask that you to take on and see the of the Arbery Church. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to strengthen you as you go through your time of mourning and grief. At this time, I invite when a man comes to pray, play a special instrument for the very family. man comes.
Good day, everyone. I must first say thank you to the family for affording me this opportunity to share some recollection of your love. Tribute to the late Yuna Mulgrave Island. This island was known to me for many years. We live with a close proximity in the community, so our back and forth movements were easily noticed. She was a very calm leader, soft spoken. Mumi, as she was called, had a very kind heart. And if you know her children, it is an attribute of their mom. Their hands are very light, as we would say. They just want to give, give all the time. That's an attribute of their mom. In the morning, I would say, good morning, mommy. And she responded, good morning, B. And I am on the go. In the evening, now I have more appetite to receive her. When I said good evening, mommy, and asked her, how your face like looks up? She then replied, saying, I don't want me to just come here. And then she started sharing her story. She had a captivating smile. Even if you want to move, you have to stop and listen. Then she said, go on over. Now I tell you nothing more. Meet her in the lane. You still smile and say, for the Lord, please, you know. No, when she comes back from fire, you need a whole day to get your refueling. It is all local and international. She kept, she was very conversative. She kept me informed. Moving has left a void that will not be easy to fill. I just want the family to know life filled with heartaches and sorrows when our loved ones are beckoned away and our homes are so empty without them. Just hold on to Jesus comes. It's hard to say goodbye, but guess what? You don't have to say anything. God will take the show. May our sweet soul rest. Thank you. We, 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 we move on. At this time, we will take uh, this what, second lesson from Kirk, 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 Kirk all right, Ali, and Shen Swar.
riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and happy are all who retain her. Indeed, happy are all those who retain her. I am very honored to know that I am a part of this tree of life. My name may not be attached to riches, but oftentimes when I see people staring at me, trying to figure out who I am, I would probably say, I am loving daughter, Miss Yuna Granddaughter. Yes. When I think of grandma, I think of words like strong, brave, caring, loving and inspiring. My mother would always share with me how domestic of a woman Grandma Yuna was, and took pride in everything her mother taught to her. She would always encourage my sister and I to live by the same principles that she learned from Grandma. For example, how food was, was presented was a super important thing. She would emphasize that the food must be plated properly and to make sure that there was no spilled gravy on the sides of the plate. And when it came to the iron, my mother would say that this is the way Grandma showed me to iron. Iron the wrong side of the shirt first, make sure you get the pockets, and try not to forget the color, and then you iron the right side. She didn't have to show me more than once. Grandma Yuna was a phenomenal woman. She has left impressions and memories that will last for a lifetime. May her soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Grandma, Miss Yuna, and I'm here to share my memory. There's so much affection from her. This one. Grandma Yuna. I was a woman when my mom said she's not feeling too well, so she's gonna take up the I said, okay, I'll be coming. But guess what? You guys just go before me and soon be there. Upon my arrival, I came in, and the kid was there, my mom law I was there, and they said, Grandma, who is and she just looked at me like, and she said, don't think I came over and I hugged her, and I kissed her. But my girlfriend was there with me, Charlotte, at the time. So when I hugged her, and I kissed her on the forehead, she said to me, how are you? I said, you need one more? I kissed her on the cheek, and she said, nothing. She just looked to the next side of the bed, and looked at Charlotte for about a minute and said, oh, are well, you jealous? <laughs> you can't get in front of me, I feel you. And then she just said to me, Wayne, because by now, if you all know Wayne, it's my name in Arjay. She said, Wayne, remember, don't become a thief. You'll embarrass me. I just kissed her and said nothing. That's what grandma loved and caring and always wanted the best. So now, we have a selection from the grandchildren and great grand.
member or not, you are now given such a cause of responsibility to give to the cause of the Lord. Here in Orange today, you might not know because you are visiting for the first time that we have an active community service department where we, from time to time, take care of the less fortunate among us, not just from the church, but within the, the different communities of Orange Day and some toy spread across the land. Today, the gift that you gave will go for that very cause. So, as you prepare to give, think about what you're giving for this very cause. We can invite our ushers. I got an act for the member of the church that are here. This is the role where the mark of make yourself available to the next week. You can assist me too by collecting a list and offering to give. Let us pray. Loving Lord, truly want to thank you for your amazing grace. Lord, we want to thank you for life. You awake us up this morning, Father. You allow us to be in our right mind and you have brought us here. You have given us journey and mercy. And for that reason, Lord, we want to thank you. And we come to share in this Thanksgiving service for our dear friends, Sister Yuna, Ali, and I God. Is that we are about to lift this offering in aid of the company service department of the district church orange day. May you bless each giver. May you multiply the gift to your father so that he may go to do the intended work in which he collected for. So I ask you, my Lord, to bless this offering. In Jesus' name I pray and say thanks. Amen. To Canaan's land of
Mark Pen is gone. Um, the invitation goes to the that Grand Children Choir. We would love for you to come and join the choir. That's it. Beautiful eyes from her father, while tiny is this pitying image 
of her mother. She was an excellent cook and 
to this day, some of her patrons still talk about the senior living meals that she provided. She worked as a domestic helper with various individuals, spanning all the way to Kingston. You was also employed at the then Sundown Hotel, that's right where Sandals Nigger is now, in the laundry department. Let me tell you something. The laundry operation then is nothing like today. Nowadays, there are sophisticated machines that dry and fall in. Back then, Miss Yuna had to use a single iron to press the linen on a broad board table. Yuna would not be late for work as she rode her fixed wheel bicycle to migraine. What a woman to arrive. Complete. 
1993 and joined the congregation at the Orange Bay SDA Church. She was a prayer warrior. Her love of men could be heard distinctly in the congregation. And everyone knew that her favorite hymn was My Maker and My King. For many years, Miss Una was blessed with good health. Regrettably, since 2018, illness meditated against her. She had a stroke which limited her mobility. However, that did not stop her from enjoying good fellowship with her church members who sometimes visit her, children, grandchildren, and some wonderful friends. Miss Yona sure did get flowers. She got gifts and she got lots of love. Yes. I recall on her last birthday, while lying in bed, her children, grandchildren, and of course, some dear friends gathered at her bedside to celebrate her life with some lovely singing, her, and of course, words of gratitude. For those who were not physically present, thanks to social media, we were able to connect with our loved ones abroad who had their impact. This will embrace positivity or negativity. The best medical attention was sought with frequent doctor home visits, nurse, Sister Shelley and her team, caregivers Miss Joy and Miss Patsy, coupled with strong loving support from her late husband, family, and friends. Thank you all for the care you have given to our mother. On November 9th, 2003, Grandma woke up from a watchful night as she was very low. Her face radiated beauty as her children lamented how pretty she looked, knowing what they saw the night before. The regular routine The regular routine with grandma was executed. She received her bath, drank two ounces of milk and some water. She tried to say something to me, but no words came from her mouth. I carefully placed her on her side and kissed her in the forehead and said, Goodbye, grandma. I will see you later and went off to work. This is how I normally leave her for work. I will kiss her in the forehead and say goodbye to her. I will see you after work. But at 10 a.m., the call came. Grandma made her exit from the stage of life and brought to a close the final chapter of her earthly chronicles. Today, we call to remembrance the life and the legacy of one in her own right was an exemplary person, possessing strength, passion, kindness, and commitment to those things she loved and for which she had passion. Miss Yuna was the real G.
May the best in the life and the character of Miss Yuna, our dear mother and grandmother, continue to inspire us. May she find rest in the deep peace of Jesus Christ. Thank you.
I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall be closed, and not another, though my rays be consumed within me. Well, ceremony of emphasis, I want to repeat verse 26 one more time. And though in my skin worms shall destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Love you, Lord. For the next few moments, will you speak through me today? Comfort the family who are mourning the loss of their mom, Cecilia. Help her to understand that she lived in the faith. And she died awaiting the blessed hope, which is the coming of our Lord and Savior. Help her to understand, O oh God, that her chapter is closed. But all of us who are here, we still have the opportunity to make our wrongs right before it is time to close our eyes and fall asleep. Be with us now, we ask, is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. If there is a man in the Bible that went through as we will term it to be hell and back, it is Job. The Bible says that Job was a faithful man. The Bible says that Job was a man that loved God and feared Him. Job was the time of brother that whenever his children went out and had fun and disrespected God, the Bible says that he would make sacrifices for his children to God. Such was the life of Job and when, uh, as it would be, that God would have a his divine meeting somewhere in the cosmos that Satan himself showed up and said to God that God, the reason why Job loves you, the reason why Job fears you and worships you is because you place our edge of protection from the love of him. And can I speak to someone here this afternoon that there is a protection that you get from God whenever you surrender your life to him. Is there someone
nightmare that was slavery in the fall, but Jesus, the bush shepherd, left the night and nine and went searching for that one. That is what God wants to do for you today. Praise the night where you want to pray for you. That you can make it right with God before you die. Let us pray, Father. We thank you so much today that your children have responded to call. We thank you for the life of Sister Yuna. 81 years on planet Earth. We give you thanks for the principles that she instilled in her children. We give you thanks, oh God, that all of her children knew what was right from wrong. Because she ensured that she placed values within them. Oh God, she has gone. You have allowed her to fall asleep in the blessed hope of the resurrection. We thank you, God, that in 1993 she had enough sense to ensure that she gave her heart to you. And so today, as family members, as church and community, we are thankful and we are rejoicing because a soldier has laid her battle shield down. Father, I ask you that you will be with the family, bind them together with cause that cannot be broken. Be the friend that sticks close and around to them, O oh God. We have individuals that have raised their hands, indicating that they were once walking with you and they have wandered far away from the fold of safety. God, we are thankful today that you have come to see and to save those who are lost. So we pray to be our hand, O oh God, and we ask you, good O oh shepherd, that you will bring them back to safe pastures and put them, O oh God, in the beside the living waters. O oh God, we thank you again for sustaining this life. 81 solid years on planet Earth. You have caused her now to fall asleep. But we long for the day when sickness and heartache and pain will be a thing of the past. We long for the day when we will touch down the glory avenue and we will study war no more. So we say, even so, come Lord Jesus, come O Lord. We are sick and tired of this world that we're living in. Come because we want to be reunited around the throne of God with all the faithful who have died in the faith. Grant her sweet rest, O God, and walk that spot so when the trumpet of the Lord that she will rise in the first resurrection. Lead guided by her to sign the acts is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We have been good so far. We have been the obedience to so follow the instruction. We have less than five minutes in the church. Just bear with us. Of the singing of the hymn, the procession hymn, I ask the family members to part here at first, and come to the running death and walk into the game. Of the first verse, the family member will move to the side door with a casket followed by the family member. They like, they come in a particular order, right? I ask that you go back out to the same order that they came in just now. Through this side door right here, and then the congregation will follow. We are not for a whole in the songs of the night, Sister Martin. We are our
Been satisfied. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, everyone. All right, everyone. We are now about to begin the committal aspect of the program. All right, everyone. We're about to begin. We're going to sing the hymn. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus when we all get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus in his mercy and his grace. In the land of God's and Thank you. 
John 11 verse 25 says, I am the resurrection and the life. Yes. He that believeth in me, though you are dead, yes. yet shall you live again. Revelation chapter 14 verse 13 says, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Henceforth says the Spirit, from their rest from their labors, for their works do follow them. Amen. For as much as it has pleased God, his infinite love and wisdom, to allow our late sister Yuna, Agatha Mulgrave Allen, to lay down the cares of his life. We do so now tenderly commit her body to the ground from whence it came, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, knowing that the issues of life are in the infinite God's hands. Brothers and sisters, as we are here this evening, I implore you, let us ensure that we make our right wrongs with the Lord before we die, so that we can have the assurance of the blessed hope when Jesus Christ comes in. At this moment in time, we'll ask you to, to pray. Let us pray. Loving, eternal Father and our God, truly we are grateful and we are thankful for the life of our dear sister, Sister Ali. Lord, as we come to the final resting place, may you send angel, O oh God, with my special spot. And may, O oh God, on that great rhythmic of morning, may she rise to meet her Savior and Lord. Continue to bless with the family now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to turn over now and begin singing the other hymn. Some glad morning, when this life is over, I'll fly away. And we'll have the workmen to take over as they begin to cover the castle. So this one will take... Yeah. Some glad morning, when this life is over, Sing the first one, meet me by the river someday. Meet me by the river. Oh, 
Ma non è che non sono a
free. Because we have the final for Workman. Wait, sir, wait, sir. Yes, sir. Workman, 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 workman. Final prayer. One, one moment, please. Father, we thank you today. You've allowed us to lay your daughter, Sister Allen, to rest. We ask, oh God, that sweet will be her rest till the day when the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise. Continue to be with the family, bind them together with cause that cannot be broken. Yep. Be with each and every one of us who are here. Yep. Give us journeying mercies home. Yep. Yep. Because we know that the devil wants to destroy yep. the people yes. of God. Yep. Yep. But we are thankful, dear Lord, that yep. you have said in your words that you will continue to cover your children under your precious blood. Yes. Continue to lead, guide, and direct us and when you come. Grant us all a place in your kingdom. Yes. Those of us who have accepted you and turned from a life of sin yes. to a life living in Christ Jesus yes. is our prayer we beg and ask in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone say, Amen. 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 Come, beloved, sleep and take your rest. Lay down your head upon the Savior's breast. We love you. Jesus loves me. Mr. Yuna. Good night. Good
give you victory. Kristen. Victory in Jesus. Amen. Victory in Jesus. Amen. Hold up on your victory. Kristen. I know the Lord. He's my shepherd. 